is draft week here at Chat Sports and across the NFL. I am Tom Downey, live right now on YouTube, Facebook, and on Rumble for the Cowboys Report. Producer Jeremy behind the scenes as well. You'll hear from him throughout today's live show. We are inside of a week from the NFL draft. Jeremy's fairly excited, not quite as much as I am, but he's looking forward to a good time. Chuck, how are you doing today? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, it's... It's always fun to watch two other NFC East teams go at it, and that's what we have today. We do have that. We are in a feud right now, a long-standing rivalry with our Giants YouTube channel. We'll tell you about the rules and the setup we have on that. But first, you guys can vote in the pin poll, not including a trade-up. So take that off, off, the, off the board. Would you draft B. John Robinson in round one? Why for yes and for no? He's there at 26. I, 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 look, he's the best player on your board. I, I have no complaints at that point. I'm not trading up for him. Yeah. Taking him at number six versus 26 is a very different conversation. So I don't know. It's I'm gonna fine be, with it's, it. It's going to be rough. Would you take him at 10 for your Eagles? No. Would you, would you take him at 30 for your Eagles? Yes. Okay. See, same boat. Same <coughs> boat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take him at 10 either. It's just I think you're getting five good years out of him because he's a, a back. And that value is just not the highest there in yeah. the end. So. It's going to be tough. Keep your votes coming. Why for yes and for no. Remember to vote in the poll as well. Lance Dunbar's burner says, Chugs is forever Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> I'm thinking of the, uh, the uh, Jack Sparrow meme. You are without a doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm picturing there. Uh, a lot of yeses in there. Uh, Cameron says yes or no. I let okay. my haters be my motivators. Mm. Uh, Armando says yes. Mike Robb says yes. Corey Cody saying yes. Protect the Sun one. If Bijan is there at 26, I will sock Jeremy in the face. Yeecaw says no. Luis Rodriguez says yes. Would, would you be mad if the Eagles jumped the Cowboys at 25 and then and they drafted Bijan? Just, just no. to spite the Cowboys? No. Remember, the Eagles only draft despite the Cowboys. I'm, I've heard those claims before. Uh, no, I think that pushes somebody else down. If there's a scenario where, like, all the good players are gone, which I don't think would end up being the case. Like, you're picking between, like, all the tight ends, all the edges, all the corners, receivers, both guards yeah. are gone. Like, maybe I'd be a little bit anxious, but, like, I don't think that will end up being the case. So, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine there. Yeah. Oh, so, you're not, you're not Bijan. Who is your dream round one pick? Uh, we'll talk about, I think, the answer is Peter Skronsky. He's going to plug him in at left guard and profit. Ha have a lot of fun on that front there. So uh, you guys can vote, too. Dream round one pick. Uh, my number one guy is Will Anderson. Uh, I finished my board last night. He, of course, will not be there. Uh, he will not be available for the Cowboys at pick number 26. I would be shocked if he made the pick number six. I think, like, your CeeDee Lamb scenario, as we'll get into, is, is maybe, maybe it's Joey Porter Jr.? Who, like, I think should be a top 15 pick. He is uh, 12th on my board. I, I'd be surprised, but I, I, I just get the vibe it's going to be a really weird draft. I feel, I feel a like a lot of, like, they did I feel what like now? Porter might fall because uh, Banks is getting a lot of love out of Maryland. Which, sure, I think you're banking on Banks, like, hey, he's a great athlete. He's got upside life, but Joey Porter Jr. is a great athlete, too. And, like, was locked down more than Banks was at, at Maryland. So... It'd be, it'd be kind of weird for me. We have our first super chat of the day from Jimmy Productions. You got a long way to go, boys. Would it make sense if the Cowboys draft Jameer Gibbs at 26? I think the scenario in which Gibbs makes sense is all of your other players are gone, and Gibbs is the highest-ranked player left on your board uh, in the first round, which I think could happen. He's 18th on mine. Now, that's not factoring positional value, which we'll do later on in today's show. But I, I, it's a, the number two back who I think has some overlap in Tony Pollard, like who's going to be your grinder, which you can find easily. But I just, I don't, this team's not going to put one of them at slot receiver. Like they're, they're just not going to. I mean, I they, they, they haven't done that. So, it, and, and the, the, situa I'd be very well the situation it. is different because the Cowboys actually have a lead back in Tony Pollard. Mm -hmm. The Eagles currently do not. Wow, Rashad Penny slander. I mean, yes, he'll be the lead back for three games. When he's healthy. Yes. That'll do great for those games. But uh, the Cowboys, it doesn't make sense to draft a running back, in my opinion, unless it's Bijan, mm -hmm. who falls to 26. It doesn't make sense to draft a quarterback in the first two rounds. I, I think they'll have a conversation around Gibbs. Like, what about this guy? Because I think he'll be pretty high on their board, but 
that comes down to, okay, we, you know, what's more important, the number two, the, the 1B back, or, hey, maybe just fix your guard spot again? I, Which, maybe you don't want to draft more linemen again. I get that, got, too. But. Guys, I'm going to be I'm gonna be frank. Yeah. You're getting your ass whooped. So we do have a Super Chat battle today against our Giants channel. <laughs> now, Giants went live earlier uh, this week, yeah, today. They, they, they've already been live for about... 35, 40 minutes. They had some news, so they went live early. So we are way behind. The Giants, of course, have the pick right before the Dallas Cowboys. There's limited studio space here at Chat Sports. So the winner of today's Super Chat battle has the heavy, heavy advantage for actually being live during round one of the NFL Doesn't draft. Doesn't look like y'all are going to be live so on the Cowboys report. I would like nothing more than to tell Marshall to suck it because I don't, you know, F Marshy in the comment section, of course. Let's get caught up. We, we, we have slight advantage of we get to hang out live longer, at least later maybe is the better term because Giants went live earlier. I want to catch them. I, I want to shove it to Marshall on today's show. This is our Super Chat menu today. $5, beer cheers. $20, fresh thing of tequila. We'll start doing shots out of it here. Well, I guess slightly consumed tequila from Nick's yesterday. $50, plate slaps. Me or, you, you down, Jeremy? Yeah. Me or Jeremy, you specify who gets slapped. $100, Cowboys beer hat of honor, and I'll beer bong a beer as well. So let's, get, let's, let, let's have some fun. Let's have get, a good time. Let's get wild. And let's crush the Giants because F. Marshy's in the comments section. From Grant Rainwater, $10, two beer cheers. I drink. Jeremy, you want to re read it off? Who would you draft? Osiris Torrance, Drew Sanders, Quentin Johnston, or Will McDonald had a farm? We will answer that as part of today's show with my big board for the Cowboys. But I take Osiris Torrance first. Now, I'm, I'm a bit different in that. I think I'm higher than most people on Torrance. I think he can play some left guard for you. Probably not center from that standpoint. Um, I'll, I'll just answer based on my own board. That's the general board. Then we'll break it down more in depth for the Cowboys on the show itself. Uh, then I've got Will McDonald, and then Quinton Johnston, and then Drew Sanders. Not high on Sanders. Uh, Sanders is 35th on my board, so it's not like we're drastically off value-wise there. In general, as I was going through it, I got to, like, pick 24-ish, and, like, I didn't love the guys from, like, 24 to, yeah. like, it, 45, 50 Daniel, in a normal draft. Daniel, you would think the Cowboys actually in the past 10 seasons have not drafted as many Arkansas players they've, as you think. They've taken two under Jerry. It was Felix Jones, John Ridgeway. So this Jerry Loves Arkansas boys – isn't actually true. They haven't drafted you, very many. You'd think that. You would think it because it's Jerry, but it's not true. Thanks. Cheers to you, Grant. Two reductions, $2. Drew Sanders feels like a Cowboys pick. I think if they go defense in round one, I would bet a good amount of money on Will McDonald, the fourth, because Dan Quinn loves him. Mm, tiny edge rusher. Yeah, he's skinny edge rusher. He's not tiny. He's actually very long and tall. But he's a skinny edge rusher. Tiny edge rusher. Who Iowa State was like, let's put him in there at, th at three technique because that made sense. Edwin Strickland says Darnell Wright picked number 26. He is on my official board, number 22. I don't think he's going to get there. I, I would be very surprised. People, if, if, there was a if, mock if having so. him have being the top tackle taken off the board. Decent value for that, actually. Um, I don't think that ends up happening, but... Decent value. Uh, Jeremy Chugs' his burner says, Darnell Washington, the boys, David LaFleur 2.0. You guys can't just compare every big tight end in the first round to David LaFleur. We do, it's the same thing with any Michigan player's Taco Charlton. It's not really how it mm. works. Um, and if we're worried about a pick that was made, you what? can't You can't take the white linebacker. That's Leighton Van Der Esch. That I do. I will say this, though. The white linebacker from Iowa is Leighton Van Der Esch, but that's <laughs> tough. Uh, if we're letting picks from 1997 influence us, that's just not going to go very well. It's, you know, Not every linebacker is Bobby Carpenter, okay? Corner in the first round, it's Morris Claiborne. Exactly. So I am not worried about David LaFleur having influence there. Like, he was bad. Doesn't mean all the other Titans will be. Five dollars, beer, cheers. Zeno you know, say it. I think this is for Jeremy mostly. So cheers. love what, uh, love what would you guys or I love what, what? you guys do. Um, as always, respect Jeremy, respect Zeno. Uh, so who's more likely to win the NFC East this year? Will there be a repeat winner or not? I think this is the best chance we have at a repeat winner, but also at the same time, 
I really don't believe in the Cowboys. Or not, not in the Cowboys. I really don't believe in the Giants. I agree. F. Marshy. Let's beat him in the Super Chat. F. Marshy in the chat. I really don't believe in the Giants or the Commanders mm. where they're at right now unless the Commanders somehow find a quarterback. I mean, Sam Howell. Like, tell me, you, tell me you're trying to get Caleb Williams without tell me you're trying to get Caleb Theories. Williams. The Cowboys got together with the Eagles and Giants and were like, hey, we're, we're, we're going to tank the game against the Commanders to trick them into thinking Sam Howell's the guy. <laughs> it makes sense. It doesn't, but it's funny. Um, I think it's the Eagles or the Cowboys. I agree. I don't believe in the Giants. I, I, I love their coaching staff, but I don't believe in D- Daniel Jones. So as long as everyone's healthy, it's Eagles Cowboys. At some point, the curse will be broken. I think we've also said this is the best year for a repeat for like five straight years, <laughs> except the year the Commanders won. Everyone knew that they, they were not going to win again. Oh, outside yeah. of that, thank you, Cino, and thank you, Mark. Cheers. We have to trade down if no studs are there. So many really good players will be there, but not one worth a number one, our first, our first round pick, mm-hmm. such as the O-Lyman and players like Mozzie. Mozzie Smith, Steve uh, Avila. It is pronounced ah, not uh. I, I really like that. Avila. Avila. Um, Ricola. Others as well. So I'd say I, w- I would love to trade down and trade back up in round two. Cowboys, I think incorrectly, seem to heavily value that fifth round option. So maybe if the Chiefs or Eagles come calling, they could move down a couple spots, get some more assets. Um, but Cowboys just in recent years have liked to stay where they're at in the first round. Yeah. Traded down the year that the year that they, they, they took Micah because they, they, they got white. They wanted yeah. they wanted one of the corners, didn't happen. So update on the super chat battle. I believe they're up to 177 now on Giants. By the way, we're, oh. we're, we're we're getting, we're getting hit hard here. 29, so we're, we're way behind. Now, they got a good 40, 40-minute 40 lead for us here. We'll be doing two mailbags, so plenty of chances for your questions to get answered. And I, I would like nothing more than to stick it to our Giants and assure that we get to go live here. We, we never told the Giants about our shares battle, and we crushed them, uh, which is going to help because I get to decide what do the you, metrics do are. Do you have the link for this? Yes. Let's do this. I'll put it in the live chat for right now here, and tell Sperry to get in the comment section. Um, putting it in there right now, get over to our Giants channel and type in F Marshy. I'm going to pull up the live stream, and I'm going to type F Marshy in there as well. F Marshy in the comment section. Let's see. I don't, I don't know where Nix is at right now, but we'll find out there. So F Marshy, oh, they just got a 50-piece. Giants just got a 50 piece. So we are way behind now. So it's not great. I'm not going to lie. Go type F Marshy. Oh, the, oh, the Giants are lying saying we have zero. Absolute fraudulent behavior fr- from our Giants channel. Just lying about their numbers. Unbelievable. This is just like when they told us they were doing a battle and didn't tell us. And like we got halfway through the show and they're like, oh, we're doing a super chat battle. What do you mean we are? I, I, first off, it was a comment battle, is what they said at first. Uh, then, like, oh, it's a super chat battle. First off, for my burner balls. Second off, Burner go, also had a, good, had a good response. Go, go over on the giant stream. We put the link in there. Go type F Marshy. We got to knock that boy down a peg. He, he's feeling cocky because his Knicks are doing well. Deidre, I, I see you in there too. There you go. Oh, he, he went to sub only chat. Did he really? Coward. Wow. Absolute coward. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Some more super chats coming in here with those as well. More more reason to f Marcy. Yeah, f Marcy again. We we got it. We we got to catch him. So we'll hit the super chat in here in a second too. But first, Christian Morales, wife a bottle popper at the draft. What card should I send her with? What stars will be there? Um, there is the list of the the players, uh, uh, the draft invites. I think it was a seventeen. <laughs> Wait, list Christian, what are you year. what are you asking here? Wife a bottle popper at draft. I, I assume to get signed. That's that's the way I I view it. <coughs> what is a bottle popper? They, they're she's gonna work it as one of like the hostesses. That's the oh. way. That's the way. That's the way I interpret it. I I read it as yo, my wife's gonna ball out at the draft and pop some bottles. What famous people are gonna be there? Uh, I know draft. This is well, this is what I'm assuming. Actually, I think like actual famous people. I'm not. I'm not too sure. But it's, it's in Kansas City, so yeah. You know, maybe Mahomes shows up. Who knows? 
There's uh, not a lot of famous people Mahomes from Kansas. spends his time in Dallas. Uh, Jordan Addison, Will Anderson, Brian Branch, Jalen Carter, Zay Flowers, Chris Gonzalez, Paris Johnson, Will Levis, Joy Porter Jr., Anthony Richardson, Bijan, Jackson Smith and Jigba, CJ Stroud, Keon White is the weird one on the list. Tyree Wilson, Devin Witherspoon, and assumed that number one overall pick Bryce Young also are there. So cheers to you, Christian. Mark. The strength of this draft is in the second and third uh, round. A lot of good players, but not elite guys. I agree with Tom 100%. Trade down, then up to assert good guys. Uh, as I, I, again, I, I finished up my board. Uh, the way I looked at it was there are kind of a cliff fall off around pick 25, give or take. And then the guy at 25 versus the guy at like 45, maybe 50 is pretty similar. Yeah. And then. Uh, I like a lot of the the, the, the third-round guys who are going to get pushed up in the second round, so there is some depth there. Okay, appa it, appa it, apparently it, you were right I, about the... I knew what you meant. Uh, I In general, I don't love the top-end talent this year in yeah. particular. I think I think we've had we've definitely had stronger classes. Like, I have Peter Skronsky fifth on my board. Rashawn Slater was a better prospect, and Slater was like tenth on my board or something that year because it was so loaded. As we, we've seen, it all worked out except for the quarterbacks. Weak draft class this year. It is a little bit weak. Chris B, think we might actually trade up. I'd be surprised. Uh, number, number two ev for CJ Stroud? Without fail, every year there is a Jerry wants to make a splash report. We, Todd McShay did it this year. Every year there's one. Cowboys haven't traded up since Morris Claiborne. That's how long it has been. And someone was like, well, they took CeeDee Lamb. like, but that's just sitting and taking the good player. That's just good drafting, not splashy drafting. So... I, I, I wouldn't. I, I would. I would be surprised to move up now. Maybe. Maybe they get in a scenario where they're sitting at pick twenty six, and you know it's pick twenty two, and they have one first round grade that's at a huge area of need. Whether it's a uh, Joy Porter Jr. or I think would be a long term need, or you know maybe they love Darnell Wright in that in that capacity. Maybe yeah. then they jump a few spots, but I don't think they're jumping in like the top fifteen or top twenty. Right Tom, now. we are three likes away from sixty nine. Nice. Can we nice. get there? We are getting crushed by our Giants channel though. Yeah. Let's 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 like the video because they barely got to a hundred. So really. Yeah. Let's like the video because that's free, easy for everyone to do here. Like that video right now. We just blew past sixty nine. Nice. I appreciate that. It's fun. You acknowledged it, so I get to. Christopher Bishop says well, he was sixty nine. By well, the way, you, you just said blue sixty nine. So there you go. Depending on who's what involved. It, yes. Oh wow. Yeah. They are. Uh... How, this is not let's, pretty. Let's let's show the numbers and show the super chat menu, and then we'll see. This will be the last time I drink before the draft. Ooh. It's not great. Cody says you blew past sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> uh, Cameron yeah, wanted this help. Is not a... mm, I'm anxious here because I, I don't know what the Giants' numbers are. After I saw the fifty piece. Yeah, if this was the Eagles, I'd have a little bit more confidence. But Cowboys, oh, fuck you, Jeremy. Do, uh, dude, I'm saying, I, I'm with y'all. I want y'all to beat the Giants. But do I have faith that the Cowboys, Cowboys fans are gonna be able to rally from behind? I have faith. No, y'all, y'all are, y'all. I are, have faith in you guys. The Cowboys, Cowboys fan bases, they're a winning, or, up team. You know, like if you're winning, if you're winning the game, if you're mm. up in the game, everything's good. As soon as you're losing in the game, it's just like SpongeBob meme of everything on fire in his head. <sighs> that that you know, look the freak out part uh, is real. By the way, Aaron Rodgers just got traded. <gasps> Where? Uh, to the Jets. Okay. So the Packers get 13, a second and a sixth. The Jets get 15 plus a fifth. And Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers. So they, they're swapping first-round picks. So that's not much value there. A second and a conditional fourth. So it's basically two seconds uh, going to Aaron, going to, to the Packers for Aaron Rodgers. So it's, it finally happened. Finally happened. How about them apples, Jeremy? So the, the Packers didn't get anything. Packers got two seconds. And they swapped first. Packers getting the, the higher first. Uh, they're at 13 now. I don't know how much that really changes things. I am glad it happened like before my final mock draft was due, though, because I'd, I'd have been mad. <laughs> that would have pissed me off. So More Super Chats coming in. $10. Michael Sutton, two beer. Cheers. Jeremy, take it away. 
Are there any other guard prospects who are plug and play besides Torrance and Avila? Nice. Um, my other top guards, and I'll go to my top seven here. Do you like the kid out of NC State? I was going to get to him. He's fourth on my list. Cody Malk is my third guard. Really? Yes. That's he's pretty high for an indie. He's my number three guard, but he's picked 62 overall on my board. Second slash. That's pretty high for grade. a North Dakota State lineman, especially after what happened with uh, Dylan Raiden's went higher. Don't don't fall for the Dylan Raiden's trap though. <laughs> um, I, I think he needs a year because he wasn't very good at guard at the Senior Bowl. There's there's a lot of upside. So you're there, telling me there's not a lot of good guards in the draft. I don't love the guard class. The 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 four guys that I've kind of come on board with here in the top, in the top 150 basically. I like Chandler Zavala from NC State. That is an under-the-radar name who didn't go to the combine, has had back issues. Big red flag when you're, on the, when you're 24, 23, I'll check his exact age here, uh, years old, and you've got back issues. Uh, he had uh, surgery in 2021. He's 24 years old. I thought he played really well this year, but it's a small sample size. I'd take him in the third or so. Yeah. Late third, I'm on board with that one there. Similar range for Anthony Bradford from LSU. Um, both UCLA guys have in the fourth. Antonio Maffi from UCLA. John Gaines, the second from UCLA. And then it's some later fourth-round picks. Emil uh, Echior, Jordan McFadden. I like Andrew Voorhees. I do. But, oh, the tequila's on screen now. Oopsies. Uh, but he's going to miss the entire year. You know, City so has got developmental upside. There's a couple guards, and the, I think it's a thin class overall, so those third, fourth round grades might be going around earlier. And that's, that's, the, that's the danger there. I was literally just about to ask you, if you're the Cowboys and you're sitting, because, you know, the Cowboys, decent roster right now. If you're the Cowboys and you're sitting in round four. Mm -hmm. Andrew Vohr, he's still on the board. Are you selecting him and basically giving him a redshirt year? I, I would start to consider it in, in the <gasps> F Marshy F Marshy F Marshy right. Woo! I oh. at least two beer bongs if not three beer oh, bongs. Oh wow. Let me here. let me go let me go get a beer bong. Let me beer bong. You're with beer you. bong one too. I'll do two. You do one. We we have beer for you here. How about them apples, Marshy? You love to see it, Anthony McMillan. Three going on. You gonna you're gonna get a beer ball? Yeah. yeah. Anthony McMillan. Three hundred. I'll, I'll do one solo, and then I'll wait for for Chugs to come up on here and he can live up to his nickname. Cheers to you, Anthony. Oh, it's actually a truly bong because it's more fun that way. It goes down easier and tastes better. I almost made that really, really bonk or bonk worthy. Shout out to you, Anthony. That's three more of your initials on the uh, Cowboys beer hat of honor, which we'll I'll add tonight. Thank you, Anthony. Chugs is getting his own beer bong here. It's funny because there's the stopper, and we lost one of the stoppers, so Chugs gets, gets the bad one there. Waiting on Jeremy. Anthony McMillan, a $300 super chat. you love to see it. Thank you, Anthony. We will check in on our Giants battle throughout today's live show. Mar did, did you just tell Marshall what happened? <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. I just told him the real number, though. <laughs> That's funny. Cheers. Do 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 you need to pour it since you broke your wrist? No, you're good. Okay. 
Cheers to you, Anthony. This one's for you. Oh, I also you see Jeremy chugs his burner super chat. Scale of one to bonk. <laughs> I think that's why I think it's a keeper there. Cheers. Oh, oh shit, there's some left. A little bit. Let's go, Anthony. All right. Let's hit these supers. Then we'll actually start the show. <laughs> Cheers to you, Anthony. Everyone type Anthony in the comment section. <clears throat> cool, Sharky. Roger's trade is done. It is. Uh, it amounts to two second round picks is, is, what it, is what it amounts to. One this year, one next year. Some moving pieces of trade spots in the first round, but it's it's two seconds in the end. Value wise, <laughs> <laughs> he changed he changed his photo too. I love that photo <laughs> from Jeremy Chugs's burner. On a scale of one to bonk, it's a great bonk, man. That's a great it's a great scale. Uh, how excited to be the Cowboys draft these guys: Michael Mayer, Bijan, Cansey, Nolan Smith. Hashtag new profile pick. Um, I'd be pretty pumped about Nolan Smith because I think he could go top ten. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he fell to you, but I'd be happy with that one there. I get people have positional value concerns with Bijan and Michael Mayer, but I, I, those are top 10 guys for me, so I'm not going to be mad as Giants just got something big uh, on that front. They just took the lead. They just took the lead back? They just got 100. Who who sent it in? William Leno. Alright, I see how it is. Alright, well that's fine. We, we got time. We got time. We'll update the numbers here before we start the show. Um, and then I am not as high on Clyde Jacanti. He checked in at second round grade for me, 36th overall. There's, there's burst, there's athletic ability, there's all the upside, but he's got short arms and I'm burned by Ed Oliver. That's where I'm at. From Mark, $5. I owe two beer shears here. Tom, I've said we need improvements at positions, not huge stats. That's, that said, what guards out there would be an instant upgrade at, or, yeah. I think at Osiris guard, Torrance, and DT. Osiris Torrance, Steve Avila, maybe John Michael Schmitz, but I think you might end up playing him at guard for a year, then center. Doesn't he have some of the same concerns as uh, you you have with Tyler Biotish? Yeah, I think that's that's a good way to to go about it. Um, like I just, I'm not I'm not quite sold on him in the end, which I, I feel like is kind of cheating. But uh, Carter, of course, but Carter's not. Jalen Carter's not impact player. Like, I, or he's not going to get to you. Can't see Mozzie, Brzee have upside, but I don't, I don't think they're a finished product yet. So that kind of kind of concerns yeah. me there. So cheers to you, Mark. Thank you, my friend. We're going to update the uh, – uh, we did miss Edwin Strickland's super chat, by the way. That came at the same time Anthony McMillan's did, so there was chaos. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Edwin, trade 26 for 29 and 94 and draft Washington, Benton, and Rice. Um – if you're getting Rasheed Rice at 94, sure. Um, I, 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 I get you can do that trade on some of the draft sims. I would be surprised if, I think the Saints have 29, gave up 94 move up three spots. I, I would be, I'd be a little surprised by that. So thank you, Edwin. Cheers to you. This is the current leaderboard for the Super Chat battle. It's 405-377. Remember, the Giants have about a, what? Half hour? Oh, yeah. Almost 40 minute lead? Yeah. They, they, they have a lead on us. So they just got another one, didn't they? I wanted to be nearby in the same studio because I can hear them celebrating. So they might have extended their lead, but we, we, are, we are further ahead than what they were when we began the show. So we're in. Oof, that was a big one. That was a big one. All right. We're a bit behind now. 5'10", 377. We'll, we'll, get, we'll catch up. I, I got faith. We'll, we'll catch up here. We will get to the show here in a little bit as well. But first, Grant Rainwater. <laughs> I know we haven't done anything, anything content related. Uh, <laughs> Trenton, Sim questions. Trenton Simpson, Keanu Benton, Julius Brent slash Keely Ringo in the second. I wouldn't mind any of those picks. Ringo does scare me uh, a decent amount because there's boomer bust there, but so, so does Brent's. I have them... I think they're all second round grades. I think Brent's I gave a two three cheater grade. Um I gave him a straight third. Let me command F here. Brent's I've got 
Second, third, he's 64th on my board, so you're in the right range. Ringo, I've got at um, 49th overall, second round grade. Benton, I gave a cheater grade to. He's 63rd on my board. Trenton Simpson's the one I would take first. He's 41st on my board. So don't love him in round one. Like him a lot, though, in round two. Here is what's coming up on the actual Cowboys report. All the latest Cowboys rumors and some news around the NFL draft. We will break down my Cowboys NFL draft big board. I did window dress it a little bit to factor in positional value, different needs there. Kind of like this is the order I would have them in in terms of making my selection. And then not one, but two Dallas Cowboys mailbags Whoa. on today's show. Yeah, we got time. We'll have some fun. Hit the super chats and enjoy enjoy the uh, the live show itself. Cowboys rumors, NFL draft big board. The super chats that came in, we can hit on the mailbags uh, as well. Plus, of course, any new ones that end up coming in. So that is the entirety of the show. It'll be the last live show in theory before live on Thursday if we beat our Giants channel. Oh. In the Super Chat battle. It I don't know. It doesn't look like Thursday Live is going to happen. It's, it's a little bit behind there. They're at 510. We're at what? Three, uh, 370? $200! SoCal Isaac! Oh! Let's go! F. Marshy! F. Marshy! F. Marshy, F. Marshy, F. Marshy, Ow! So, Cal, Isaac, can't ever lose to the Giants. Can't ever lose to the Giants. You hear that, Marshy? You hear that, Marshy? All right, we'll do the beer bong, and we'll start the actual show. Let's go. 200. Cowboys report retakes the lead against the Giants. Oh, wow. They, th they thought. They, they really thought for a second. There we go. I'm going to pound this beer bong. Oh, it's so foamy. Uh-oh. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. Oh, it was a first-time Super Chatter. We're okay, first-time Super Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <sighs> Should I have done more than 100? I don't know. We'll find out. We still got this. And we have the rest of the show. We're good. Oh, it's so much foam in there. We're good. That was not fun. All right. All right. Real show's coming up here. Oh, boy. Thank you, SoCal Isaac. Two of your... I'll probably just do a SCI on the little Cowboys Beer Head of Honor. I'm going to update those tonight once the live show ends. We're going to start the actual show right now here on the Cowboys Report. Welcome into the Cowboys Report, presented today by Manscaped. The NFL Draft is here, and you want to make sure your own prospects is being perfectly are being perfectly groomed. Head to toe, if you know what I mean, manscaped.com, promo code COWBOYS, 20% off at manscaped.com with that promo code. This is the one of our final shows before the actual NFL draft. Here's what's coming up as part. Not the entire thing. There's some Josh Ball conversation, too. Uh, drafting either Joey Porter Jr. or Will McDonald. Trade rumors on DeAndre Hopkins and kind of, sort of, Derrick Henry as well, which we will get into on today's show. But if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We don't get to 154.5K by the end of the draft. You know, we might not be going, uh, we might go sub only. So make sure you are subscribed for free videos all off season and, of course, in season right here on the Cowboys Report. First up on the rumors roundup is the idea of drafting Joey Porter Jr., which I've mentioned before as the, you know, maybe you get lucky and he ends up being this year's C.D. Lamb. Well, that's exactly what Peter King had in his 2023 NFL draft, or mock draft, I should say, excuse me. Now, Peter King, historically, is not the most accurate mock drafter. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, mock drafting hard. If you get 10 right, you feel great there. Uh, there has been a little bit of buzz as of late that, hey, maybe Deontay Banks goes before Joey Porter Jr., which I'd be 
you know, kind of surprised if that actually ended up going down. It'd be a bit of a departure from, from previous uh, results and everything. So I would not assume that JPJ gets there. If he does, I think that would be a fantastic selection for the Dallas Cowboys. Roy Porter Jr. was a lockdown cover corner at Penn State this past year. He did not get beat very much. Purdue was the one team that kind of tried to test him a little bit. He was only targeted 30 times in the court, across the course of the season. Fifth, or 14 of them came against Purdue. He allowed six catches for 66 yards, and he had six pass breakups. And that was beginning of the year, and th then teams were like, uh -uh, we're not going to do this. Uh, he is the son, by the way, of Joey Porter Sr., the former Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker. Dan Quinn would love him. 34-inch arms. That Diggs and Porter Jr. together, it's a really fun long-term one-two punch. This would be your the top, one of the top players at the position surprisingly slides to you. You didn't think that was going to be the case, and you just take them and you're hyped about it. I would love JPJ in Dallas. This is my version of the C.D. Lamb pick. I don't think he's going to get there, though. There are too many corner-needy teams, including one limited to Jacksonville, the Giants, the Vikings, and the Ravens, all drafting right in front of you. That makes me think it'd be a, it would be very unlikely he ends up getting there uh, at pick number 26. Who is your dream first-round pick? In a perfect world, but also still somewhat based on reality, i.e. not Will Anderson, who is your dream first-round pick? And let me put it, who are you leaking the faked video of to get them to slide to pick 26? It's the pinned comment on today's show, so if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Let's talk Will McDonald here uh, for a little bit. Dallas Morning News explored the idea of what if the Cowboys take edge in round one? Their conclusion was not a great idea. This was, uh, this was David Moore. Dan Quinn, though, has shown a significant amount of interest in Will McDonald. It was a 30 visit, worked him out at the pro day. I think Dan Quinn likes him, and that's not a huge surprise given what we know Dan Quinn tends to like in corners because you're looking at a player in Will McDonald who is a little bit older than what I think you would typically like. He's 20, 24 at the draft. But he's almost 6'4 and almost 35-inch arms. Massive, massive length that Dan Quinn likes. He's number six on my edge board, just barely behind Lucas Van Ness. And if you want to flip those two, I, I wouldn't be, be mad at you there. I get some good Randy Gregory vibes out of Will McDonald. And I think in the end, it's a very real chance that Will McDonald is the pick in round one for the Cowboys. I know they love guys like Michael Mayer. Uh, some other prospects as well. The Bijan conversation, of course. I don't know if those guys are going to be there. I think this could very well come down to, they're sitting at 26, you want to go BPA, your guards are there, so is Will McDonald. Maybe you give Dan Quinn the round one pick and then go offense, 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 offense throughout the rest of the draft. I think Will McDonald, if we're like handicapping the top five picks for the Cowboys, most likely ones, I think Will McDonald should absolutely be in that conversation. The NFL draft is here, and the most exciting prospect is the prospect of being perfectly groomed head to toe, thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Manscaped has long had elite downfield play with their lawnmower 4.0. I'm a big fan of ball skills when scouting cornerbacks, and you want to make sure your balls are looking good with Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping when you use promo code COWBOYS over at manscaped.com. Manscaped help make you the sexy pick without forgetting about your big uglies up front. The Beard Hedger, the Lawn Mower 4.0, franchise-changing combo that can set you up for life. Manscaped.com, promo code COWBOYS, gets you 20% off and free shipping. Again, 20% off and free shipping on all of their products at manscaped.com. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. Go from Mr. Irrelevant, like producer Jeremy, to a first-round pick. I should have said Marshall. I'm sorry. That was mean to me, Jeremy. But either way, you know what I mean. First-round pick with Manscaped. Again, that links in the comment section and the description of today's show. It's manscaped.com, promo code Cowboys. We have to Manscaped for sponsoring today's show. We talk draft. Let's talk trade now. Inside the Star has floated the idea once again of making a trade for DeAndre Hopkins. They pitched ideas involving 
Michael Gallup involving Jordan Lewis or Jordan Lewis, and that's like that's fine. Um, we'll trade you the guy we don't want for the guy you do want, right? Like that's that's not how NFL teams tend to do business. There, the value of New Hopkins doesn't appear to be very high. They haven't shown interest in him. Our teams haven't at the cost involved. I think it's the money more so than the draft capital that's been the issue there. Trading Jordan Lewis, sure. Uh, that saves you money. I don't think Arizona have much interest in a guy coming off an ACL. So, like, you know, you're getting maybe a fifth-round pick value if you're lucky there. But this trade Gallup for Hopkins stuff isn't based in reality. And it shows a fundamental misunderstanding of the salary cap, which is okay. I'll help everyone out. I, it, it's a complicated to sell thing. But the Cowboys already restructured the contract of Michael Gallup. If they traded him right now, right now, anytime before June 1st, they lose an additional $10.6 million on top of what Gallup is already making. That's not, that's not something Dallas wants to do. Now, they can trade him after June 1st, save 2.42. Something tells me Hopkins will be gone by then. And I know there's been claims that Hopkins is adjustable in his contract. I don't think that's the case. I think it's less of a Hopkins uh, doesn't want to be the highest paid receiver again and more of a Hopkins just wants to get similar money on a longer-term deal. That's what I think the adjustable contract stuff means because you do a lot of money for a player that has missed time the past two years. The idea of Lamb and Cooks and Gallup and Hopkins is absolutely fascinating. The idea of paying Lamb and Cooks and then giving Hopkins $20 million, a little bit less so. So if he wants to take cheap pay cut like Cooks did, let's ride. Something tells me a different team. Bills, Chiefs, whoever it is, would offer a little bit more. What is the percent chance you think in the end the Cowboys trade for DeAndre Hopkins? Sound off for us in the comments section. While you're down there, go subscribe to our NFL Draft or for our NFL Draft coverage live on the Chat Sports YouTube channel. Our live coverage featuring me and others. Get started at Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be live for all of the draft, every pick. I've got 300 players ranked. I will drink for everyone I do not know. YouTube.com slash at chat sports. We'll go to general Derrick Henry rumors on this front. There was a report. It was Saturday, right? Jeremy came out Saturday. Eagles are trading for Derrick Henry. Uh, and then everyone came out and said, no, they're not doing that. Uh, heavily, heavily disputed. The, the, the argument that came out was like, rep by the same agent. Well, they're both rep by CAA, which is like the biggest agency. So I, I think that it got a little bit too much credence under the guise of like, same agent. Okay, it's the same agency, but it's, it's a little bit like, well, they would know. They're both from the same city. Like, there's a lot of people from the same city. Like, I don't think that's the most credible argument there. The Cowboys keep getting linked, Derrick Henry. Outside of the alleged claim from Trim, which I still think was a game of telephone gone wrong, it's mostly just been clickbait to an extent. We'll go more in depth on Derrick Henry in general, but let's pretend the cost is similar. Who would you rather trade for? 22 for Derrick Henry or 10? For DeAndre Hopkins, sound off in the comments section. Much like DeAndre Hopkins, money's a problem. The cap hit is a big problem. He's counting a lot for Tennessee this year. The new team would owe him $10.5 million. Now, for the Cowboys specifically, you are already paying Tony Pollard $10 million this year. Do you want to invest $20 million in your running back room where you want to give Derrick Henry touches and you want to give Tony Pollard touches. No, I'm not so sure. Now, if Derrick Henry wants to take a bit of a pay cut here, like, that's fine. Uh, but I don't think Derrick Henry wants to do that. And the numbers re regressed. And I think this, this, is, this graphic right here on screen is a great example of why offensive lines matter. Why did Derrick Henry average one yard per carry less over the past two years for 2020? His offensive line wasn't as good. Doesn't that mean you want to focus on the offensive line more? My mindset. 
Speaking of the offensive line, everyone's favorite, he said, dripping with sarcasm, offensive lineman Josh Ball is apparently going to get more guard reps. Mike McCarthy revealed that Josh Ball, uh, yeah, Manscaped, that does work. Good call there, Jeremy. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be working more at guard this year. Um, there, were, there was some surprise. They actually got some work at guard last year, by the way. Ball played 26 snaps against the Houston Texans. His run grade was solid. He was bad in pass protection. He, he almost single-handedly cost them the game. And the reason why the Cowboys, I think it was a 98-yard touchdown drive to win that game, was in part because they pulled Josh Ball and put Josh P or Jason Peters in at right tackle. Josh Ball was a dumpster fire in that game. Why are you moving an offensive tackle to guard? Because you're bad at tackle. Sometimes it saves your career. Eric Flowers had a second life in the NFL because he moved to guard. I would not be surprised, given you're probably going to take a guard fairly early, and it's going to be Todd, the Smiths, Biotish, Martin Steele. I think Wolesko's on this team, Matt Farniak, plus a draft pick, and maybe Chuma Chum Doga. I don't think Josh Ball is going to make this team, barring injuries, coming out of training camp. And you know what? It's fine. You drafted a fourth-round pick with massive off-the-field red flags. Doesn't bother me that much. It is mailbag time here. And, Jeremy, I, I believe we have some bad news. Oh, yeah. Uh, I heard it at the start, <laughs> the start of that last segment there. <coughs> I heard it. They're in the studio across from us here. We'll update the numbers. Did I hear correctly that a 300-piece came in on Giants? Uh, let me let me get the numbers. Uh, Jeremy's me... gonna get the numbers here, but I'm not. I'm I'm a bit worried there. That was a big big piece on Giants. Anthony and, and SoCal Isaac carrying carrying the squad today. The MVPs of the show by a massive margin. <sighs> All right. Down by 300 again. They really want that live show. Over they, there. they 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 want that live show. Um, Giants will end first. I'm not sure where they're at in their cuts. So we. I, I don't even think they've done a cut. They definitely have. They, they, they definitely, <laughs> did. They definitely did, did the news cut. I know that. <laughs> so, mm. uh, By the way, Protect the Sun 1, I see your super chat. Any that come in here, we will do as part of the live mailbag coming up here on the Cowboys Report. I'm going to drink the beer now for this one. Oh, that one's empty. I Tom, I, I are longer. you a draft one of every need guy or turn a weakness into a strength like 2 DTs, 2 O-linemen? Because best available is never a literal Correct. Philosophy. The best available, it, it's, ne it's never truly been BPA. It's always been BPA at a position of need. That, that's how teams tend to adopt it, but that's very long, so they just go with BPA. Um, I, I, I think in general, you, you, and I think this is a great example. You're going to see it with my big board here in a little bit. I have adjusted it for needs, for positional value. Uh, I've window dressed it is, is, is the phrase that, that gets used there. Um, I I would have interest in if I like I, I don't want to take two DTs first two picks like I don't want to double up there, but I think like if you want to go DT and round you know two three whatever and take one in the fifth or sixth round sure. Um, in the end, the you, what you do in free agency your goal at least address your needs. So that you can just take the best player at outside of maybe like two or three spots, just the best guy. You yeah. know, Dallas did, did that at corner. If they had not traded for Stephon Gilmore, we would have been mocking corners nonstop to Dallas. Yeah. Now, if a guy like Joey Porter Jr. falls, awesome, you, you can take him. But you're not like in shambles if he's not there there for you. Like that's that's kind of where, where I'm at here. So mailback time. Two ways to get on the show. I actually oh beer, cheers, excuse me. Cheers. Hashtag Cowboys. Puts you in the queue for producer Jeremy to find you, though, so you're thinking on Jeremy. Or Super Chat, as we are down by about uh, almost two, 240. Not going to lie. Uh, we need some dicey. more questions as well. We got the older Super Chats we can get to. Oh, yeah, that is true. We those two. We're, but we are doing two mailbags today. So great time to get your questions answered here on the show by using Hashtag Cowboys or by Super Chatting. Any supers that come in, we'll hit, and then I will drink for them as owed. Did we get, we got, we're only 20s, right? So I haven't owed any shots yet? No, no, no shots. Just the, just the giant beer bongs from the big spenders, Anthony and SoCal Isaac. So, hashtag Cowboys or Super Chat to get on the show. 
Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. We are inside of uh, a couple days away, I should say, from the NFL Draft. I'm sure we'll have plenty of draft questions on today's mailbag. We begin, though, with a super thanks, because we will always hit these on the next live show once they can come in. So, Michael, love the show, Tom. Watch you guys every day. Thank you, Michael. He is a Noti Gang member. Suppose we do draft Steve Avila in round one. I think he should be plug and play at left guard, but as the roster stands now, wouldn't our best five at O-line be putting him at center with the Smith on the left side and Martin on the right? It's a bad move when considering the long-term and for depth purposes, but what do you guys think? It's a great question, Michael, and I think you could absolutely make that argument. I would also say that what's the odds Tyron Smith makes it through an entire game or an, an entire season? 5%? It's pretty low. So what I would do is I would just let Avila and, Ty and Tyler Smith be my left guard, left tackle. So, uh, Avila can get some center work as, as a flex piece. Let Tyron Smith compete with Terrence Steele at right tackle. And let those two figure it out. And then you have got a great, a great swing guy. Um, I think because we think at some point you got to make that position switch for when Tyron goes down, I'd rather give the rookie one job in year one. Tyler Smith did a great job handling all of it. Still a lot to ask for out of rookie. And you saw with Jalen Tolbert. They asked too much of him. Didn't play very well. I would keep it easy on my first-year player in year one. Now, Super Thanks is a new-ish. It's been around for a while now. Feature on YouTube. You know, we get a bunch of Super Chats. Hit those on the live show. But if you can't watch live or whatever, Super Thanks allows you to donate as well. We will answer your question, give you a shout-out here. Click the Thanks icon. Edit your message. We appreciate your, your support here on the Cowboys Report. Kyle Donovan, $20 Super Chat. Thank you, Kyle. What's good to the awesome duo of Tom and Jeremy? I think my Jags trade down. Good luck to your Cowboys, Tom. Thank you, Kyle. Jag, every, great point, Jeremy. Every team wants to trade down. Finding a team to trade up? Is the tricky part. I think the Jags would love a player to help their pass team, which would be an edge rusher. I think Lucas Van Ness makes some sense. Maybe a corner, which uh, the Cowboys could have their eye on in round one. But thank you very much, Kyle. Protect the Sun 1. Tom, are you a draft one of every need guy or turn a weakness into a strength, like two DTs, two O-line? Because best available is never a lower philosophy. It's not. It's BPA at a position of need. I think you also want to juggle the balance, right? Like, you're not just going to go five straight linemen um, unless your offensive line is, you know, you're restarting your franchise and you haven't had, you know, you have nobody. But it's always a balance act. You won't always take the best player straight up on your board. Cowboys didn't last year. Lewis Seen, if you believe the uh, version of their leaked board. I don't know if that was their real board or if it was just one of their boards, one of the scouts' boards, maybe. Um... Lewis C was their highest graded player, but they needed, they needed the offensive lineman, so they, so they took that guy. Um, I don't necessarily want to take back-to-back -back if just to make it a superstar strength, but it's always a balancing act. It's a, it's a great, great question, great philosophical question there, Protect the Sun. So when it comes to this year's draft, who do you want to draft in round one? This is the pinned comment on today's show. If the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there. Get your votes in who you want to take in this year's NFL draft in the first round. Grant Rainwater, $10. Trenton Simpson, Keanu Benton, Julius Brents, or Keely Ringo. I've got, in order, uh, Trenton Simpson, linebacker from Clemson, Keely Ringo, corner from Georgia, Keanu Benton, DT from Wisconsin, Julius Brents, cornerback from Kansas State. Fine with either of those guys in round two. Simpson would be, would be my favorite one, though. King Chamberlain. Are there any XFL players you're interested in? Unironically, Ben DiNucci should get another shot in the NFL. He should. Now, he's still kind of the same, like, gunslinger up and down stuff. Uh, maybe a kicker? Like, if there's a good kicker, I've not watched that much XFL. I've been doing draft stuff. But XFL? Kicker? Sure. It's the same job. There's no difference in competition level. It's the, it, it, You're just kicking the... the, the, the Football, it's all mental. Uh, but like, if you want a fourth quarterback, I kind of think Ben DiNucci should should be your, should be your guy. From Mark, Tom, I've said we need improvements. At vision's not huge stats. That's what uh, that's what guards out there. We instant upgrade at guard, center, DT in round one. Aloha, Jeremy. Thank you, Mark. I'm thinking guys like you know 
Steve Avila, Osiris Torrance, maybe John Michael Schmitz. Um, you know, maybe I think you can find a role in year one for guys like Kalijah Cansey, Mozzie Smith, and maybe Brian Brzee is a is a hit. He just scares me. Um, but I would say the guards give you a better chance with the way the board would, would shape out. Edwin Strickland says Broderick Jones from Georgia. Uh, he's top 15 player for me at $2 Super. Thank you, Edwin. Uh, so I would have interest. I don't think he gets to you. I think there's a very good chance he's gone top 15. I, I think he's off the board before you, before you even get a chance to. Martin Rosales, $2. Thank you. Thoughts on drafting a tight end? I'm up for it, but I'm scared. I understand the issues with how the first-round picks have developed in the NFL. I would also say, in general, we undervalue the the fit, the, the team aspect of like doing this. Like, for example, T. Jackson has been a great player in the NFL. The Lions dealt him for reasons that I don't fully understand. Kyle Pitts had 1,000 yards in his first year. Now, there's no Kyle Pitts in this year's class, but if you if if you stand pat at twenty six and take Michael Mayer, I'm not gonna be mad. I I will gamble on Andre the Giant and Darnell Washington in the first round at tight end. I'll I'll take Kincaid. I don't love him, but I take him. He ended up being twenty third on my board. The back scares me more than anything. Like I I understand the hesitation, but there is positional value in a great tight end. There is. Now it's a great class. If you want to say I would wait and take somebody else on day two or day three. I get it. I would not force a tight end, but look, if Michael Mayer is there in round one, I'm doing it, and I'm not I'm not scared about it. Now, we will be live on Chat Sports for all seven rounds of this year's NFL draft. How many rounds will you be watching? Uh, the total number I got to, by the way, player-wise, ended up being uh, 341 this year. So not, not, not as high as in previous years, but 341. And uh, there will be guys I don't get to. It'll be fun. But we'll be live for all seven rounds. Make sure you are subscribed to the Chat Sports YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash at Chat Sports. Go subscribe. We'll be live putting your boy for the entire NFL draft. From Leroy Pearson Jr. What's the most shocking thing Dallas could do? Do you want it like, and Jeremy, you can answer for me, based in reality or just like, let's go rogue? Reality or let's go rogue? Uh, reality. Okay, reality, I think it would be something like they take like a, jo like a Josh Downs in round one. They, they take it or a Jalen Hyatt in round one. I, I don't think they do that. That that was unironically, Jeremy. That was my not based in reality. Let's get wild one. That's what it was. Jeremy just went hand and hooker in the background. That's my not based in reality. Um, I would be a broken man. I, I would be I would be be broken. And that's that's not even a DAC thing. That is a I, I have hand and hooker's a third round grade. Like he's like four years younger than DAC is. He needs a red shirt year, so you're going to bang out a 26 year like I'm just not doing that in round one. So, um, other shocking things would be like, I don't know, they, they trade up for somebody. I mean, I think that's that's in the end. So, I, I think Dallas is going to stand pat, let the board fall to them, but we'll see. I think it's going to be a weird draft. Cool Sharky, the Aaron Rodgers trade is done. Yes, some moving pieces. Jets and Packers flop first-round picks. So Green Bay moves up two spots to 13. I wonder which route they end up going there. Uh, Second-round picks going to the Packers. I think a fifth and a sixth-round pick swap as well. So from, like, the pure just, like, value, like, what does all this mean? Like, what's the value given up here? It's basically two seconds uh, is what the Packers got back for Aaron Rodgers. It does, tr ju du it does change. The uh, the 2023 NFL draft order in the first round with uh, with the picks. So here, here are the details. Great job, Jeremy. Packers get 13, a second this year, a conditional second next year, and a sixth. And the Jets get 15 this year and a fifth with a sixth going back. So it's you're trading down in round one. You're moving up into the fifth round. Like it, it's basically the two seconds 
with some differing values on how high those two-second round picks are graded. So I think that's the earlier of the Jets' two seconds, I believe. But yeah, Rodgers is finally, at long last, a Jet. Jeremy chugs his burner account on a scale of one to bonk. I think this is this has to be our, our, our new scale going forward, Jeremy. It's too funny. How excited would you be if the Cowboys draft these guys? Michael Mayer, Bijan, Cansey, Nolan Smith. Uh, positional value from Aaron Bijan. I get the concerns there, but I'd be happy. Nolan Smith, Edge, who I think I have a top 15 player rank on him, first round grade. Let's ride. Not as high on Cansey. I, I get I was burned by Ed Oliver, who I love coming out of Houston. Similar arm length issues there. I think I think the length is gonna be a I'm actually more about the length for Cansey than I am the uh the, the just weight for him. And we have daily Dallas Cowboys videos right here. On the Cowboys Report, hit that sub button, youtube.com slash at Cowboys TV. We'll have two videos on Tuesday, two on Wednesday, and tons on Wednesday, Thursday, and for, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, excuse me. Hit that sub button right now. Chris B., if we can't win the NFC now, I don't know if we ever will. I mean, that's a bit reactionary. Uh, I understand the general apprehension, but like, You've had a lot of success outside of your dark ages when it was Chad Hutchinson and Quincy Carter and the rotting corpse of Vinny Tessaverde and Drew Henson. You were playing baseball players at quarterback. I, I, I think you'll be okay uh, long term. If you don't win it this year, I think you, you, you'll, you'll be okay. Eric Palma. Hi from New Mexico. What's the percent chance we trade up? We trade up. Thank you, Eric. This is Eric's first super chat, by the way. Thank you, Eric. 10%? 15%? Um, you know, if someone starts sliding, and I think you could maybe include Bijan, like, I could see getting up to, like, pick 20 or 21, like, Seattle wants to move down, I know that. Um, but I also think Dallas is far more inclined to stay at 26. Martin Rosales, please know Brian Brzee, he sucks. Nightmare scenario. He scares me. Brzee is a fantastic athlete, and we talk about, in general, reasons why a player is didn't produce and excuses. Reasons are understandable. You know, maybe it's just you're raw or whatever. Excuses, not great. Brian Brzee having a, an infection that cost him 45 pounds of water weight uh, this year, his sister dying of cancer, those are all reasons why he, why he wasn't that good this year. We've seen flashes. But it is far more upside than provenness. That's why I don't have a first ring. I don't know why he is 42nd on my board. Could make me look really dumb. Hope that would be the case if you took him. But he does scare me. So in line of that question, who do you want to not draft in round one? Who do you want to not draft? It works. Who do you not want? Who do you want to not? It's the same thing in the end. Who do you not want to take in round one? Sound off in the comment section. Edwin Strickland, $5. Is Noah Sewell the best linebacker to stop the run? I think I'd put Jack Campbell in there. Um, I do think Noah Sewell's best trait is his run stopping. Uh, I have a fourth round grade on him. He wasn't that good this year. Uh, he said he was trying to, to, trying to, to do too much, so it's fine. Um, he's, a, he's a thumper. In the end, he's a throwback. He's like six foot two forty or something. Uh, I'll double check the exact size here in a moment. But uh, I, I think if you get him on day two, sure. But I think Jack Campbell's a better pure run stopper. Um, six one and a half, two forty six. So yeah, he's a big, big, big boy there. John Tattershall. Any D two players that catch your eye? Uh, Tucker Craft is FCS out of South Dakota State. If, if we're, if, if we are counting. Just D2. Uh, Shepard's got some kids this year. Uh, Tyson Bajant, the quarterback. Joey Fisher, the offensive lineman. Ronnie Bell, or excuse me, Ronnie Brown, not that one. The running back, ironically. Uh, they stand out. If we're talking like FCS guys, both uh, Dakota State kids. Tucker Craft from South. Cody Mauk from North. Uh, I had one sleeper, Marte Mapu from Sacramento State. Uh, was pretty high up on, on my board. He's kind of a linebacker. Like, Quinn's going to love him. He's a linebacker with the hybrid, right? Um, the deep, deep sleeper I had that I did last night was, uh, let me find him here, phrasing I know, 
was Ty Okada from Montana State. He's like a seventh round like UDFA guy with like great athletes. So like, sure, let's gamble on him with great production. Um, those are some of the, the D2 guys that stand out, stand out to me. And Brokov, I think of Lucas Van Nets, 26, but him playing at DT. I think what you would do is make him a, a chess piece. On base downs, you'll play him at defensive end. And then on third downs, you could kick him inside. I think that's the best usage of Van Ness. Kind of like did at Iowa there. Uh, 6'5", 272, 34-inch arms. I get George Karloftis vibes. Great run stopper, gifted athlete, but only wants the bull rush right now. That's what I think of him. Now, if we did not get to your question, be up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. DMs are open. Slide on in for more NFL draft and, of course, Cowboys conversation. This is a good one, Jeremy. This is a good one. By the way, John Tattershall, your first super chat. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Best Cowboys pick of all time. A lot of routes you could go here. There's been some great success. Is not drafting Johnny Manziel count? Uh, yes, but no. Because <laughs> that one, uh, Jerry wanted him. Steven, Steven sh sh shut that one down. We'll just go best. So, like, if you he said, wanted... listen here, I'm going to put you in a home if you yeah. draft Johnny Manziel. Um, best Cowboys draft pick ever. I see Bob Hayes in there, Emmett Smith. I think like Aikman and Stahlbox. Isn't it Roger Stahlbox? Like where you got him? Tristan and Hill. Him? F you. Shut Taco up. Charlton. Larry Allen and the second. Kelvin Joseph. You're being a, people are just trolling again. Jeremy Schiff <laughs> putting Bobby, Bobby Harmonder. This is real answers, not wrong answers, by the way. Um, David Lafleur. I hate you so much. People are just, <laughs> uh, Cowboys. They thought he's David Lafleur. Okay, okay. Th th this one's for you. Whatever. Okay. Based on where you get him, okay, where you got him, how he's done for the team so far. I, I think I know. Dak Prescott, going with this. best pick of all time for the Cowboys. Trick question. It's actually Romo because he was a UDFA. But not. He doesn't count because he wasn't drafted. He doesn't count. I, I, I said best draft I, pick. I still got to take the, the rings in the end, which is kind of unfair. But, like, you got a franchise guy in the fourth round. That's awesome. <laughs> That's an awesome pick. Remember, because remember, you, you lucked in the DAC because you wanted Paxton Lynch. You, des you tried to trade up for Paxton Lynch, and you didn't win the bidding war. You <laughs> Imagine this team with Paxton Lynch. You, you might still be searching for a top 10, top 15 quarterback. Oh, they... It, it would have been a disaster. If you took pra uh, Paxton Lynch, you would be drafting C.J. Stroud this season. Not the worst outcome, I suppose, but like that... Uh, you might have taken Zach Wilson last year. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, and as Jin Zillich puts out, they also wanted Connor Cook. They, they tried to get Connor Cook, and it didn't work. They, they got sniped by the Raiders. Sometimes better to be l lucky than good in this business. So, super chat time from Robert McKinney. hey -o. It's a little sticker. It's got new in uh, red, orange, and yellow. I guess there's some red in there. It's, it's white text, and it's, it's just the sticker, so it comes through in the, in the standpoint there. Um, you know, beyond that, I think you're looking like those, like, I think Stallbox the right answer for where you got them. I think it was, what, eighth? Tenth round pick? Tenth round? Let me double check here. Back when the draft was, like, 18 rounds. 18 rounds, and he was... Uh, tenth round, tenth round, by the Cowboys. So I was close. Tenth All right, round. this is where we stand. It was very funny, by the way, uh, because when I was playing grade school football, there was a kid, the quarterback from the rival school. Last name was also Stahlbach, and the uh, the the rumor going around was Roger Stahlbach's nephew, because because Rogers from Cincinnati, Ohio, too. Uh, they were not they were not they were not related at all. But that, that was the rumor. It's like, it's Roger Stahlbach's do you, grandson or something. Do you believe in your audience to catch up, Tom, to get the Cowboys a live I show? I do. We're, we're 220-ish away. Where's Giants at in their cuts? I believe they're all Cause, finished. Because we, we, we are halfway through. He finished his mock draft. I, I think okay. they're done. Because we, we, we can get caught up there. We still have time. We still have two more cuts to, to go through here. So... We're behind now. I have confidence. Do you believe we'll do our next segment. In love after love. We'll do our mailbag. I, th I think we'll be caught up before we sign off today. Here's our super chat menu: five dollars, beer cheers; twenty dollars, 
shots. I owe, I owe a shot. Uh, that was for, I also owe, I owe one. I owe one beer cheers and one shot in honor of Kyle Donovan here. Hey, oh. Hold on. I almost dropped the whole thing. Do you believe in love out of love? I can feel something inside myself. Cheers. I really don't think we'll win. No slaps for me or Jeremy yet. And will you be the giant? $100 and we'll make Jeremy stop singing forever. Uh, we are down by just over 220, or just under 220, hashtag math. Beer cheers. Somebody's calling you a football guru? Guru? Football, Can, football guru? Guru? Another shot! Hey -o. Kyle Donovan! I, I was making a, a Star Wars joke. I know you were. Kyle Donovan, make it a double! <laughs> John Tattershaw. That's a good five or two. <laughs> God bless you guys. Drink responsibly. Thank you. A little Coors. Thanks for the chaser, too. I actually made a little Coors easy. down the bowl. The mountains are they are still blue. They're light blue. They're light blue. Thank you, John. Cheers to you. Yes, we... Uh, the we the mountains are like Kellen Moore. They're uh, powder blue. Powder. Sure, I like that one. That's good. <laughs> uh, we, we Uber home plenty in the end, so... Uh, we are now inside of $200 behind our Giants YouTube channel. I, I want to catch them. I think we're going to do it. I don't know. I have faith. I, I believe. Yeah, like I said, I believe in if this guys. was an Eagles channel, I, knew, I know Shut it would up. happen. I hate you so it much. It being a Cowboys channel, I'm a coin flip. Good news. Jeremy will not be the producer for Cowboys Live I, during the draft. Hey, I, I said there's a chance. I said it's a coin flip. We'll see. We'll give you guys some time. We're going to go to our next segment. It's a, it's no, a draft no, pick. Board. Notably, Cowboys and their, uh, and their fans better at playing from ahead, but we'll see if we can make the comeback. Depends on which year it was, because there have been years they were, they were definitely playing better from behind. <laughs> Bonk. You're such a horny <laughs> That's fine. All right. <laughs> Shut up, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Shit. Never change. That's also, funny. But also, shut up. That is funny. Next part of today's live show coming up right now. Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. Today's show is a 2023 NFL Draft Big Board specifically for the Dallas Cowboys. So it is different than my just player grades big board. It factors in various Cowboys needs. It factors in positional value a bit more heavily and... I just pulled the quarterbacks off because they weren't going to be there for you. Anyway, we got 30 players. We'll go quick early on because these guys aren't going to get to you. Will Anderson. I would love Peter Skronsky in there at left guard. He ain't going to get there. Jalen Carter, if he is there, you probably don't want him. Devin Witherspoon, Christian Gonzalez. Those, those players are great. I, I would be, maybe Skronsky gets like 12 or something, but I, I would say that these guys are all off the board inside your top top 10 picks of this year's draft so great players i love them but you're just you're just not going to find a way to get them uh in the end top 10 rounded out here tyree wilson paris johnson broderick jones probably off the board before the cowboys uh, get to pick now there is a scenario in which brian branch and joey porter jr are on the board for you and i would love to get them now, this is my board, not, I didn't want to go like, this is what I think the Cowboys would do. So I want, I want more opinion stuff here uh, in the end. I would love Brian Branch. I think he is a top 10 player in this year's class. You don't need a safety. You don't need a nickel. So I don't really care. Like, you will find a spot for him, and he would thrive under Dan Quinn. He'd be a, I think he'd be a Pro Bowl, if not all Pro Caliber player. If there is a CD land this year, it's probably someone like a, a Joey Porter Jr., um, who, again, I don't think will slide, but like Branch and JPJ are like two names I wanted to at least mention uh, on that standpoint. Now, we will be live on the Chat Sports YouTube channel for every single pick of this year's NFL draft, all the way down to Mr. Irrelevant. So make sure you guys are subscribed. It's youtube.com slash at chat sports. That link will be in the comment section and, of course, the description of today's show. Speaking of round one, we're into some of the more realistic candidates here. Who do you think 
the Cowboys will select in the first round of this year's NFL Draft. Go ahead and sound off and predict it for me in the comment section. Best spot is going to be the pinned comments of today's video. Head down there. Let me know who you think the Cowboys will select in the first round of this year's draft. All right. I don't think Nolan Smith gets to you. I would take that in, in, in a heartbeat, though. I I think he'd thrive in Dan Quinn. He's a better run stopper than give him credit for. I, I would be on board getting Nolan Smith in round one. I would say better chance he goes top 10 than he gets to you at 26. That's why he's number 11 uh, on this board. Some recent buzz and maybe Miles Murphy slides. I think there's your long-term Tank Lawrence replacement. Uh, he's pretty high up on my board. Edge value, cool, like that one there. 13, I I'm not scared of taking a tight end early. Uh, Michael, we, we do this every year. We nitpick the consensus top of us. We're going to do the exact same thing with Brock Bowers next year. You watch. Michael Mayer has been insanely productive at tight end for three years at one of the biggest college programs in football. At Notre Dame, Michael Mayer is a good blocker. He is not slow. Stop claiming that. It's just wrong. Michael Mayer is a 78th percentile athlete. That's, that's fine. Like, that's not, he's, not, he's not a freak. But he gets open. He's a blocker. He would thrive in Dallas. And he fits what I think Mike McCarthy wants. I would enjoy Michael Mayer being a Dallas Cowboy. In the end, I think he's off the board before the Cowboys get their chance to take him in the first round. Now, today's show made possible by Z Biotics. We get a lot of super chats here on the Cowboys report. I don't always bounce back with the next day unless I use Z Biotics. It's a three step process. Have a Z-Biotics before you start drinking. Drink responsibly and then get a good night's sleep and enjoy tomorrow because you're not as hungover. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. They make an enzyme to break down the byproducts. The Biotics does. It's designed to work like your liver does, but in your gut where you need it most. So drink Zebiotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Give Zebiotics a try for yourself. Go to zbiotics.com slash chat sports to get 15% off your first order when you use code chat sports at checkout. They are backed by a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Head to zbiotics.com slash chat sports and use code chat sports at checkout for 15% off. A big thank you to zbiotics for sponsoring today's show. Number 14, Jackson Smith in Jigba, my number one receiver this year. There's some slot overlap, which I don't love as much because I want to keep using Lamb there in the slot, but you take the number one receiver. Again, I don't think he's there for you, so I'm not going to be mad at it. In the end, I'd be happily surprised if any of my top 15 players on this board actually fell to you, and I would not be upset if Dallas took one of them. And yes, that top 15 includes... B. John Robinson, the running back from Texas. I did factor in positional value here. It's important to do, I think, in this type of scenario. My overall just not factoring that stuff in, he's a top 10 player for me. He's a top 5 player for me. But it's a matter of how long do you get that player. You get him for 5 years? 6 years? Less than that? Because remember what B. John's going to want is if you take him, he's going to play 3 years and say, pay me. Pay me now. So the idea of draft running back running the ground doesn't work as well with the first round pick. With that said, I would take him at 26. And I'd be fine with it because it's 26, not number six. Do you want to draft him in the first round this year? Why for yes and for no? Sound off in the comment section. This is my board. That's why Osiris Torrance is so high. Not everyone feels the same way. It's fine. I get it. Not everyone has to feel the same way about Osiris Torrance. Uh, I see a mauler. I see a guy that never let a sack in college. I would take him, plug him in at left guard, and be very happy. Just behind him is Darnell Wright. Recently, he's kind of moved up the uh, 
Cowboys fan wish list in general, I think he's gone top 16. I don't think, I don't think he gets to you in round one because he's a tackle. I, I'd play him at left guard in, 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 this, in this scenario, but i take him in round one. I wouldn't be mad at it. He's like a top 25 player on my overall board, not affecting positional value. I think he gets to you, though. Deontay Banks, cornerback out of Maryland. Um, we'll see if he gets there or not. I've, I've heard he could not go in round one, or he could be the third corner off the board. He's fourth for me. No complaints there in round one. I don't love Lucas Van Ness um, as like a true first-round grade, but at pick 26, inside, outside flex. Final days. He, he, he reminds me of George Karloftis. Um Long, athletic, big edge who likes to win with power and needs some more moves. But I think he would do a great job, and Dan Quinn would probably be your long-term Tank Lawrence replacement, too. He could, of course, rotate for you like most defensive ends do early on in their careers. Now, don't miss any of our NFL draft coverage right here on Chat Sports. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. We'll have pick reactions. We'll do grades after each day. Don't miss out. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Said I wasn't scared of Michael Mayer. I'm not scared of Darnell Washington either. Absolute freak athlete, massive human being. I have been on the Darnell train since mid-season before it was cool. I, I, If he's there at 26, I think he will be, by the way. This is the first guy outside of Torrance I think will be there. I'm not going to be mad at that pick. I think Will McDonald deserves some more conversation around him being the first first-round pick for the Cowboys. I think he's there for you. Uh, I think he goes back end of round one. Dan Quinn loves him. If you're going to go offense heavy on day two, day three, maybe you let Dan Quinn get his one player, and then, like he did last year, offense pretty heavy beyond that. Dan Quinn showed a ton of interest in Will McDonald. Don't sleep on him. If I had put, you know, odds, McDonald would be maybe my third favorite, second favorite, somewhere in that range. My gut tells me Dallas could very well take him. Emmanuel Forbes out of Mississippi State. He is 166 pounds, six career pick sixes. He is he is liposuction to keep to leave. Uh, that's who he is. I think he's off the board. I'd have interest though. Steve Avila is the ultimate fallback player for me. Um, if you're picked over, if you want to go with the quote unquote safe selection, which doesn't really exist. Avila's a plug-and-play guy at left guard. Could play some center for you. I would not be mad at it. It'd be kind of more in the B range for me. I, I, I would rather gamble on one of them tight ends. But Avila at 23 is kind of the cutoff of, like, I'm not going to be upset. I, I am fine with that pick. And Dallas has proven if they take a lineman in round one, it tends to go pretty well. So what is your confidence level in the Dallas Cowboys drafting this year? 1 to 10. 1, of course, on the low end. 10 on the high end. Sound off in the comment section. So guys, I have some concerns over now, but it would also be fine first-round picks. Dalton Kincaid, seam stretcher, bad blocker, back injury. If you trust the back, maybe you feel higher about that. But, uh, oof. I just, ugh, he's, the, the, the back scares me. Quinton Johnston is a big possession receiver who plays like a small guy. So if he has the after catchability you, you crave, if you can teach him to just high point the football and be stronger, he could easily be the number one receiver in this year's class. It's just a big time gamble there. Jordan Addison from USC, the wide receiver. I like him. Great route runner. Did vertical, short area stuff too um, for the Trojans. And for Pitt, he's just slender. Zay Flowers, I like. Again, all these guys are kind of in that, you know, I, I'm not mad at it, but I want to put somebody better for me on the board. Flowers is me. I, I would not be shocked if Flowers is at least your number two receiver taken this year. Jameer Gibbs, number 28. He's a running back. He's explosive. He would have been higher on this board for me if you didn't have a similar player already in Tony Pollard. I think they're best getting to the outside, uh, being explosive, pass catching. But again, running back is it's probably a five-year commitment. 
I think you find a 10-year guy in round one. Drew Sanders, linebacker out of Arkansas. A bit of a run on offensive guys. Here's a defensive player for you. I think he's Anthony Barr. And good Anthony Barr is worth the first round pick. End of career Anthony Barr? You know, certainly not. He, he can blitz. He can come off the edge. But he wasn't as effective as other just straight-up blitzers there. So that's you know, that's a red flag for me. Um, back end of I would love him in round two. Luke Warm in round one. And then number 30, Kalaja Kansi out of Pitt. I have been burned by Ed Oliver. I am scared over the T-Rex arms. He's got small arms. That will matter in the NFL. The length matters. You know, a two-inch difference... In just straight up, it's two inches is not very big. But when you're adding or subtracting two inches, that's a lot. Ask your girl. Like, that That does matter, Jeremy. Two inches is a lot. Straight up, just individually, no. But adding or subtracting two inches, it, it, it matters. It does. That, that is a real concern. So I love the athlete. I don't love him in round one. I think there'd be a better player on the board for me. Uh, it's, just, it's just a red flag. Uh, that I happen to have here. So this big board was draft was made specifically for the Cowboys. I will be posting on Tuesday uh, my just non-team need specific big board. Uh, so hit me up on Twitter at what going downy for more coverage there. And some other players I want to give some mentions to. All defense here. Felix Inidike Yazama, who I would I would love him in the second round. I don't think he gets there. Bijo Jalari, Mozzie Smith, Trenton Simpson, Brian Brzee. Brzee and Smith scare me because they're all upside. They're all upside players. They're, they're not proven yet. Simpson, I don't like in round one. I'll take him in round two, though, pretty quickly. So I think you'll have a player in that range for you in round one, in that top 25 on my board. It's just a matter of do you get lucky in the top 15 or top 20 player is there for you. All right, mailbag coming up. Super chats to get to as well. How far behind are we, Jeremy? Because now we get, we get we got one more cut, and now I'm getting a little bit anxious. Getting a little bit anxious here. I have some bad news. Oh for you. no! What happened? They're going for a stack. They're going for a stack. Oh boy. Marshall said he'll do a boot for a stack. Okay. And then this is where the numbers sit now. Oh boy. Oh boy. They're, 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 and the, the thing is, they're not, they're done with all their cuts. They're just driving. Okay. I, if, if we get to, if we beat Giants, I'll, I will do a beer bong with five shots in there as well. Slash, maybe I'll just do like, you know what? Five shots straight beer bong. Maybe, ah, uh, no. Better, b b better number, Jeremy. 6.9. 6.9 9 shots. If we get to 1,000. Oh, yeah. If we get to 1,000 and beat Giants. And see, this is what I said. We, we have a whelp. Now, now, we, now we, we, are, we already scared. have a whelp we tried in the chat. Now, now I'm That's more, why I said now Eagles, I'm scared. not a question. Now I'm scared because we're 330 down. 340. Hashtag math. Now, now, now I'm a, a little bit scared. A little, a little worrisome. Big Phil's right. He's also wearing he's, his profile picture is also you. Huh? His profile picture is you in the dress. <laughs> Big, <laughs> Big Phil, it's gold. All right, super chats get caught up on here. Jeremy, I'd pay a hundred bucks for you to dress like Cher, and if you can turn back time, who'd you say comes straight in better than Connor or Tyler? Uh, I thought Connor would. And I think Tyler Smith was, was probably better year one. Maybe, yeah. I don't think by nearly as much as, as, as we Mark, want to think. I th but he I played th left tackle, too, so I, I'll give it a thought. I think right. we have the dress here. 100 from Mark. Dress for the rest of the show? Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I don't think we have the, uh, the outfit for Cher, and if you could turn back time. Yeah, <laughs> that I do not have. Yeah, I, don't, I, I honestly don't want to have you dress in that. But dr dress on for 100? Sure. All right. That's fair. That's fun. Edwin Strickland, $2. Anton Harrison, offensive tackle. Uh, he was one of the first guys I did not put on my specific Cowboys board. He's actually 40th or 39th on my overall board. But for Harrison, I think if you're taking somebody, 
you want them to be able to be plug and play at left guard in round one. Yeah. And he's not going to start at left tackle for you. And he's just not that guy right now. I think he's he's he's, he's an upside play. He's he's 21 years old here. So I don't I don't think I don't think you're going to try to plug him in at left guard. He hasn't played it before. So I like the player less so specifically for Dallas, but he'd be he'd probably be top 15ish on my actual board once the picks if picks are in there. So. All right, Thomas. We, 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 have, we have some more we have another super hit here first. If you want to hit that one? Which one? Tristan Browns. Is that the one we just answered? Edward Strickland's the one we Oh, I thought I, that's my bad. I thought we just put that one up. There you go. Uh, Tristan Brown. Oh, also, a beer cheers from, from Mark. Uh, what's your reaction if Dallas picks Brian Branch? I'm hyped about it. He would be the best player on my board. Uh, Brian Branch is a baller. If you want to get caught up Tom, in the... Tom's a safety lover. I, I do it every year. I, I love a safety. And it's Brian Branch is here. That's why I do is safeties Earl, last. Is I, Earl I, I Thomas last. still available? I do safeties last for, for this exact reason. Is, is Earl Thomas still available? Last I checked, no. Um, Brian Branch is my number eight overall player. Now, in like last year's class, he's maybe like number 12. In the Slater Parsons class, he's like number 17 or something. But like, Brian Branch... Does not miss tackles. He is the best tackler in this year's class. He didn't get beat very much in coverage. He makes plays on the football, makes forced fumbles. Like I am, I have absolutely no concerns about adding Brian Branch. Like ninety tackles, fourteen TFLs, three sacks, two INTs, seven pass breakups. My player comp is Malcolm Jenkins for him, and like I, I feel great about that one. Like I, I he did not test the best. I get all of that. Maybe he slides a little bit for you, but he's not the biggest. He's not the fastest. He is one of the best players in th- this year's class. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm not playing him at free safety. He's probably going to be a box player, that kind of safety nickel overhang role that's so popular. But I'm, I, I think Dan Quinn would, would love him in Dallas. So, All right, mailback time. Get your questions in, hashtag Cowboys or Super Chat. If you want to get on the show, we're, we're way behind our Giants channel. we, we got to catch up here because we are almost out of time. Get your supers in right now. Welcome into the Cowboys Report, made possible today by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping on all of the top-of-the-line men's grooming products at manscaped.com, promo code COWBOYS. Check it out. Links in the comment section and the description. And we begin with a $100 super chat from Mark. Cheers to you, Mark. Going on the Cowboys ring of or beer hat of honor. Jeremy's dress will be going on here in the near future. Uh, In this draft, who could come in and be a better left tackle than Tyler Smith and move him to guard or draft a guard straight out. Jeremy Omi. I think the guard options are Osiris Torrance, Steve Avila. Plug and play those guys there. At tackle, Peter Skronsky, who you'd play at one of those spots. doesn't matter which one. Maybe you just roll with him at left guard. It, it's fine. I love Skronsky. Paris Johnson Jr. I think Broderick Jones has the upside to be better than Tyler Smith. I'm not sure if he's there right now, so... I, I throw him as an asterisk on there. I think those three tackles, though, were off the board before you pick in round one. Everyone type Mark in the comments section. Brian Schreer, $5. Time of the true football goat. Jeremy, love your bra, but how much would it cost to see you not in a strapping dress? Uh, if if uh, Mark threw in 100, 101, I, I think that's fair. Just beat out Mark, and then Mark can beat it there uh, on top of that. So... We'll do it outside of the cut. That way, it's only if you're watching live and you're not forced upon you. Edwin Strickland says Anton Harrison, tackle from Oklahoma. He is my number five offensive tackle this year. Second round grade. I've stacked everybody now on my big board. Um, Not better than Tyler Smith right now. I don't know about the guard flex. So, like the player, not sold on the fit, though, for the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Tristan Brown. What's your reaction if Dallas picks Brian Branch? We had the question earlier today. Scale of one to bonk, it's a bonk. Like that, it, you guys know how much I love safeties. Brian Branch, I think, is an awesome football player. I don't care about the athletic testing. He's always in the right spot. He's very reliable. He doesn't miss tackles. He is the best pure tackler 
including linebackers, in this year's class. He is an awesome football player. I would love him in Dallas. Now, what is your confidence level in Dallas being a title contender this year? I'm sure this will get some different levels of reaction. It'll be the pin to comment on today's show. Scale it from 1 to 10. 1 on the high end, 10 on the low end. What is your confidence level in Dallas being a title contender this year? Hat trick, one, two, three. How do you feel about Wright playing left guard? I think he can do it. I think Darnell Wright, I did not like him at left tackle. Uh, I thought he tested great, had a great game against Will Anderson. He's played left tackle. He's played right tackle. I think his overall skill set actually projects pretty well to playing left tackle. He's a better run blocker, 33 and 3 4 inch arms there. Um... He took a big jump forward. He, not the best run blocker based on his size, but he's not too big to play guard. He's played both sides. If I'm taking Darnell right, he's my left guard, at least for a year, and then I can revisit right guard down the road. SoCal Isaac, $200. We're at $969 in Super Chats. Uh, oh, I should have right? Good, good call, though, Jeremy. We will do the... Um, the, the beer bongs that I owe, uh, we're about to do some, I'm about to do some shot bongs too. SoCal Isaac, the MVP of today's show. I assume this means no dress for Jeremy. Uh, thank you, SoCal. Thank you, Mark. You guys are the real MVPs. Clayton Lockhart, Dak relies on slot receiver or back of the backfield with a tight end. He need to upgrade to the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Fatty's only lives. Um, I mean, they leaned on Lamb because he played slot. I think that's probably more there. I'll say this, though. Dak trusted Dalton Schultz. Like, Dak's under pressure. He felt comfortable throwing it to Dalton Schultz, even with Schultz not getting much separation. Schultz had a lot of targets in this offense. So I actually would say slot receiver number one, because that's where Lamb is, tight end two, and then, you know, check down running back number three. But I will always stand some fatties only comments in the, uh, in the, sec in the comments section. The NFL Draft is here, and the most exciting prospect is the prospect of being perfectly groomed head-to-toe with our friends at Manscaped. Manscaped has long had elite downfield play with the Lawnmower 4.0, but they have the rookie sensation now in the Beard Hedger to ensure the face of your franchise is a pretty one. This one-two punch of men's grooming is the best acquisition for any at-home GM. So go to Manscaped. Save some uh, salary caps with our promo code COWBOYS at manscaped.com. The salary cap's a myth. Use the promo code to help make that the reality there. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Promo code COWBOYS. Go to Mr. Irrelevant, from Mr. Irrelevant, like producer, like, like uh, Marshy is, and to a first-round pick with Manscaped. The Platinum Package has all of it. Everything you could ever want. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Promo code COWBOYS. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. $2, Tristan Brown. What's your dream first, second, and third round picks? Tristan, I did my perfect Cowboys draft plan. It was I trade down in round one. I get Darnell Washington and Steve Avila, and I got uh, Zach Charbonnet with my extra pick. I got Darius Rush. So looking along those lines, I think is the perfect idea. Uh, it, a bit unrealistic, but it's fun for Dallas. So that's my dream. I think I traded up for Steve Avila too. Like that's my dream uh, idea there. We trolling now, baby. Let's go get David Irving. David Irving is one of the very few exceptions to not be on the uh, Cowboys legend bit. Because to be on the bit, you have to care about football. And David Irving had immense physical gifts, did not give a shit about ball. Daniel Moriarty, I think we still get Hopkins if we don't draft a wide receiver. My expectations are no. I think somebody else makes it, gets it done on day two or day three of the draft. It'd be fun, but expectations low. Peter... M, because I'm going to botch the name because I've had a couple already. Uh, Demon's going to hear Super Bowl. I know, we've, I know we've added on offense with Cooks. My fifth and Dak to be great in the playoffs. Multiple games in Rosen there. It's got to be number 11. Um, 
The issue is Dak has had two bad games in the playoffs, both against the 49ers. Uh, and I'm worried that's not going to change next year because the Niners just, much like the Cowboys with the Packers numbers back back in the dynasty, I remember the story from Brian Broaddus is Packers won the playoff game and they're going to the, Vision, the NFC Championship game, I think it was, against, against the Cowboys. And Reggie White was, was upset because he didn't want to play Dallas. He was like, he's like, I don't want to play against, I got to play Eric Williams, man. I'm, I, we're not going to win. That, I think it's similar Cowboys, Niners, that defense. Maybe with Tomiko Ryan's there, gone to changes, that defense has this team's number on offense. Novu, would you draft Jake Hayner to be a back of the Dak Prescott? You know, a couple years ago, I'm probably higher on Jake Hayner than what I am now. I probably had a fourth round grade on Hayner a few years ago. I crave mobility. I don't think Hayner has that, so he's my number seven quarterback. The name I like a lot, Clayton Toon out of Houston. He's my number six quarterback, fifth round grade there. Take a QB on day three. Let's see if you get lucky, even just for a backup in the end. Now, we will be live for the entire 2023 NFL draft right here on Chat Sports. YouTube.com slash at Chat Sports. We have free videos there every single day, multiple times per day. All, every pick will be live on that channel. Go subscribe. YouTube.com slash at Chat Sports. Tyler, if Dallas were to take a receiver, would you rather want a smaller and faster slot like Marvin Mims and Tyler Scott or a bigger out of play outside like Hutchinson or A.T. Perry? I think what you don't have is the bigger body. I also just want the better player. Uh, and for me, that's Tyler Scott and Marvin Mims. I like A.T. Perry. Uh, he's a top 75 guy for me. I'm not as high on Hutchinson. I think Mingo would be a better fit for you. Although I'm not top 100, but I'm not as high on him either. Uh, there are not many big guys this year. It's a small receiver class. That will push them up. So Dallas might want the bigger guy. I just want the good, the good football player in the end. Jenkins Gaming. I would love for Dallas to move up in around to the draft to guard. What's the chance? Decent. Um, they also have this John Schmitz in the second round. I think he can play guard. I talked to John Schmitz at the combine, and he was he unprompted talked about playing guard for Dallas, which I think that's what they talked about because that was unprompted. I'm like, you know, did you meet with the Cowboys? I'm like, how'd it go? And he's like, well, we talked about playing guard. I'm like, okay, that's noteworthy. <laughs> like, um, <coughs> I don't think any of those guys, I don't think, like, the issue is Avila, Torrance, JMS, I don't think they get to you in round two. So if you want one, probably got to trade up. Bobby Two Raw. How likely is it drafting Dalton Kincaid with pick number 26? He's 23rd on my board, which I didn't I didn't think he was going to be that high on my board, but like I didn't I, I didn't think that was where he would be, but that's how the board fell for me. I don't think he'd be the pick cuz I don't know if they want to hurt tight end. The, the 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 back scares me. Now, what do you think is the biggest need for the Dallas Cowboys? Sound off in the comment section single biggest need for the Dallas Cowboys. Duh, 1534. Any mid-round quarterbacks interest you? I, I mentioned Clayton Toon. Uh, I think Dallas has shown interest in Jake Hayner. Uh, or not Jake Hayner, uh, Aiden O'Connell, who I got a sixth on, but like he's an older pocket guy, fits the offense. I think Jaron Hall fits this offensive style pretty decently. Um, I'd say fifth, sixth round, I'd have some interest there. From Mark, unless some stud drops to the round three, if we draft you, that means Gallup's is more serious than we uh, thought. We have zero confidence in Tolbert. Any stud defensive ends fall to us? Um, yeah, I think that I think that's a fair a fair concern if they take a receiver early, because you're going to pay Lamb. You're going to do those things on that front. So fair. Uh, also, super chat. Thank you, Mark. Any stud defensive ends? Depends on how I feel about him. You know, Will McDonald, if, if, if he's a stud for you, might be your pick in round one. Johnny G, which is your sleeper on the team for the Cowboys this year? I want to say Jalen Tolbert. I think I'm going to go with Israel Mukwamu, though, in the end. Delunatic, third round pick you like. I don't think Zach Charbonnet gets to you, but you know, Tank Bigsby, uh, Tajay Spears, Israel Abanakanda, who I'm higher on than most, even like a Roshan Johnson. Uh, Sean Tucker's a no for me, the Syracuse back. Um, 
Illinois fourth round, Chase Brown is what I have him there. The third, fourth round, maybe Kendry Miller sneaks in there. I got a lot of backs I like in the fourth round. Cowboys were interested in Kendry Miller when we shocked if he was a pick by Dallas there. Uh, it's a great running back class. You take one, second, third, fourth round, you're getting a damn good football player. Now, if you have not already, hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. You can slide into my DMs. If your question was not answered, hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. All right, let's check in on the Super Chat battle. Are, are, they, are they waving the right flag? Marsh looks defeated. The play by play, this is what's going on over there. Marshall's Marsh down is, bad. Marsh is hey, looking. Hey, this is the wrong number. We're at nine seventy six. Nine seventy six. Yeah, we're at nine seventy six oh. now. Sorry, I was I was on the sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit bit there. Okay, so I owe uh, for SoCal Isaac and for Mark, I owe beer bongs. If we get to a thousand. 6.9 shots of vodka straight out of the, the – or tequila, sorry. Straight out of the beer bong. You, you, if you, we get to a You stack, can use the merbonga if you want. That's probably easier. I'm doing the beer bong. It's way more fun. Although it's probably easier to do the merbonga, <laughs> but whatever. It's all the same there in the end. So Live looking at Giants, Marshall is looking at the numbers on the screen I, like this. I, I, I owe a beer bong, though. I owe two. I'm going to do those right now. Mar Marshall is shaking his head like this. He can't believe He's it. He shook. He can't believe it. He shook. You'll love to see it. All right, first beer bong coming up here. Hold on, there's some. Hey, we're good, we're good. This is like a little bit of leftover leakage. We also got a super chat right as we ended the mailbag. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't like what I just heard back there. How, how, how big is it? They, $100 and one, $101. Okay, so here's what we'll do. First to 1,000 wins. They Marshall, just, Marshall's confirmed. They just got to 1,000. That's bullshit. He said deal after they got it. That's bullshit. Yeah, he, that's bullshit. I had asked him. I asked him first to 1,000. He doesn't say deal until after they got it. He, he waited a full two minutes to respond. Bullshit. All right. If we get to a thousand, we're still gonna go live. How, how about that? Okay. Producer Brett, what? you down? I don't know. We still go live if we get to a, a thousand. Uh, during during the draft. Uh, Round one. Yeah. He's in. He's in. All right. If we get to a thousand, we're twenty-five away. I will do all the shots of tequila. Rough estimate. Say what, Brett? No, uh, exactly. Uh, Tr Tristan's saying, Tom, can we a get a, a seven-round nightmare draft? Uh, I don't, I don't want to be negative. Oh, be it's a fun video. <laughs> I don't want to be too negative. So first beer bong coming up. Let's see. If we get to a thousand, we'll both go live. Since Giants cheated and won, Kyle Donovan! There it is! Let's go! 25! We'll go live for the first round of the NFL draft. Since Giants cheated, there are a bunch of cheaters over there. There are a bunch of cheaters. There it is! Thank you, Kyle. Cheers also, to you. if you count in the fact that they've been live for 40 extra minutes. Yeah, that's true. We, we got their better and, ratio. And they we, had... We definitely won. And they had breaking news. Yeah, we definitely won. We had nothing. Won. We, we, we won. This is just like the last time we did this, and they didn't tell us for half the show, and then we signed off, and then they cheated to, to win. No, we, we definitely won. We definitely won. Cheers. Well, I am. Oh boy. There we go. Oh boy. Hey. Giants, still frauds, mm. still the fourth best team in the NFC East. Oh, man, we have, we have a happy dad. I should have done that as the beer bong instead. That would have been better. Probably. 
Uh, those I, I like I like doing the, the beer bongs for the, like, for the seltzers. Yeah, it, it, it's just it's just way easier to, to go down. <coughs> I am to the the beer bong. Jay Elam, oh Jay Elam, our guy. Jay Elam, two dollars. Let's f and go, Cowboys. All right, uh, let me pour it in. Shop. Oh, I just spilt it. Not on my laptop though, so we're we are in the clear. <laughs> Not Tyler style. Not Tyler style. All right, six point nine shots. So this is where we're at right now. We won. Yeah. Stop the count. We won. Logistics to be sorted out, but we will be live on the Cowboys. I mean, they're board. ahead by 30, and they went live 40 minutes earlier than yeah. us. So, is it really that much? Is, is it really that impressive? In my no. eyes, no. Don't worry, I'll be Ubering home tonight. Giants are still by, frauds. By the way, I have totally lost count of how many shots I just did. <laughs> Completely lost count. I have no idea how many I put in there. Giants are absolute frauds. I was just thinking about like the logistics of live. We will be live though on the channel. All right, let me get. After this, we're just gonna sign off. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. Final reminder: going live for the draft this week on our main chat sports channel. Check it out. We'll be live for yeah, every, every single pick. Every pick will be there. Every Some pick, of the picks will be on Cowboys. We've got analysis for every pick. We'll be going live. We'll be doing fun games. Tom might eat some ranch ice cream. You can't say it. You can't do that. When I'm mid tequila, you mother lover. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have a fun time. Every single pick in the draft. Check it out. out on our main channel. Tom will be hosting there. We'll be going to be simulcasting, going live on our Cowboys channel. Because you, the Cowboys fans, got us to $1,000 on today's live show. Tom, any last words before we sign off? Giants cheated. The record books would say we didn't win. Fuck the Giants. But full eyes, I don't remember the first line. We, we can't lose. Full Go. eyes, clear hearts. Thank you. Can't lose. We'll be live. No, clear eyes, full hearts. I don't remember what it is. Yeah, Daniel... I got ranch ice cream for the draft. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I can't believe you mentioned I was doing a tequila bong. What, so, what are you doing? What one word reaction? Ooh. One word reaction to ranch ice cream. Oh! Yes! Get fucked, Marshy. F Marshy. Oh God. Let's go. We're ending up on top. F Marshy. F Marshy. All right, I, I gotta get this table. F Marshy. F Marshy. Get aft. I gotta get the taste of the keel out of my mouth. Get aft. We just won because of you, Mark. Yeah. Our true hero. Two, two wins now. Two wins. God. The Giants will never learn. Giants, Giants won the they are the, first to They're the scum of the NFC East. They cheated. I messaged Marshall first to 1,000 wins. He says bet. And then gets 1,000 uh, like as he responds. Absolute BS. I'm just going to message him we just yeah, won. I, and I, I, am, I am claiming victory on this. <laughs> I'm claiming victory. Marshall says that makes no sense. I, look, I, I see more in Supers right now. That's what I see. That's what I see. Let me finish this here. <sighs> Jay Elam, F. Marshy, $2 is right. They had 40 extra minutes. We got more. I, I, maybe maybe we'll let an independent party decide who won, who didn't win. But look, th this is this is you know nineteen seventies nineteen seventies college football championships. I think we're both just going to claim just going to claim the natty, even though we know who won. Oh, we're Giants ahead of over them. there. The eight and four Bama team claiming a claiming a, a national championship. F Marshy. F Marshy. Cheers to you, Mark. Cheers to you, Kyle. Woo. Ready to sign off here? No, Bobby Two Raw. We went to March, right? We did. We did.
to all Giant fans, you can kiss my not on the left side, not on the right side, but right in the middle. Jeremy, I wanted to see you as chair so bad. I love that super chat from Mark. <laughs> Clayton says the real victory is not, not having to see Jeremy in drag. So, all right. Let's sign off here, shows. I got, I got, I got too much in my stomach here. All right, I, I gotta do post. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mark. Thank, big shout out. Big before we leave, I, I gotta do this. Big shout out yeah. to Kyle Donovan, SoCal Isaac, for helping us win. SoCal Isaac, a real, real one. Mark, of course, like I said, and who was it earlier? Who was it earlier? And Anthony McMillan. I love it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you guys.